Hello and welcome to Community Hotline. I'm your host, Monica Weitzel. What was the year 2020 like for you? If you're like most of us, we're ready to leave that year behind and move forward to a more positive 2021. Today, we'll introduce you to an organization that's an outlet for hope, action, and change, the Better World Challenge. This group is working to inspire, connect, and challenge people to become more environmentally and socially responsible. Find out about their monthly Better World challenges, as well as their podcasts. We'll be showing you how together we can truly make a difference today on Community Hotline. With us today is Executive Director of a Better World Challenge, Justin Furtado. Justin is all about being positive while continuing to affect change. Welcome to the show, Justin. Thank you. I'm so thrilled to be here, Monica. Right. I'm happy to have you here. You know, the, um, my understanding is you started a Better World Challenge in 2019. Is that right? In the spring? Yeah. So in spring, April of 2019, I was reading a book called The Art of Nonconformity. And at the end, it had like kind of a list of things you can do. And it just said start a blog. So I was going to bed um, just like one night. It's like a weeknight. And then the idea is like I was about to fall asleep. And then the idea comes to my mind, like the Better World Challenge, like start a blog. And like I had to write down the name, the Better World Challenge, because I was like, oh, wait, what? The Challenge Better World? Like I kept like <laughs> thinking over and over in my head. And so I wasn't really even thinking about the name for a long time. It kind of just came to me. And so really at the beginning, I just started it with the intention of putting more positive media out there, like, let's just make a better world. And I didn't, I had no idea what I was doing. And so um, with that, I, it kind of has evolved over time. Um, during 2019 is really just me blogging about my passions of like pers- the intersection of personal and community development, because I've had so much personal development through like community service and community engagement. So I wanted to kind of share that through the blog and then, I took a a couple month break during actually at the beginning of 2020 before COVID had hit and then COVID, you know, hit and I just started rethinking a lot of things. And, you know, my girlfriend encouraged me to start a podcast with it. And then I started to use the name, the Better World Challenge and start implementing some challenges. And it's kind of blossomed from there. It's kind of taken a couple different forms, but it really started with this idea of like putting more positivity and like actual, like, you know, highlighting the good in the world onto the internet. I can't think of a better time for you to have started this really, because, you know, now that it's finally really taken off and um, it's something the world kind of needs right now. This has been a really, really tough year for people. How, what has the reception been from the public? Yeah. I mean, it's actually been pretty overwhelming and like, I feel this immense amount of gratitude because people are like, thank you for doing this. Like, this is exactly like what the world needs right now. Like I've had conversations with people with different political ideologies. And as of course, we all know, it's a very political, politically tense time. And, you know, it's all about coming together to build a better world and highlighting the the good in our world. And I think one of the things that I get most frustrated about when I look and see, whether it be on Twitter or on these big media platforms, is it's highlighting kind of the worst of humanity. And I think that's one of the things that I want to change is like, I want to highlight the best in humanity, because I, I believe one of the core values of the Better World Challenge is like, you can achieve what you see. So if you're always seeing so much division and whatnot in your streams, that's that's just what you're going to see in people. And so the Better World Challenge, I want to put out like there are people that are actually like really working their butt off to make the world a better place and to, you know, uplift their communities. And so I really do think it was, I guess, good timing that I started the Better World Challenge and, you know, thinking about it I was originally in April working on this community connection challenge and we were going to launch in June and then the um, protests the George Floyd protests happened and you know there was this awakening especially um, in real race relations and I, I, I know as a white dude I wanted to be like okay I need to really do a lot of work myself and so I changed that community connection challenge. I put that off until August. And in July, we did the Black Lives Matter education challenge where we just really did a lot of little educational pieces on how we can be anti-racist and continue to learn and understand like the, the journey. And I think that's something that's super important for a person like me who is 
extraordinarily privileged. Of course, I'm a white man, but I'm also come from a, a family that loves me and I have financial stability for a 22 year old and I'm extraordinarily lucky. And so I want to use my privilege and platform to educate and model that behavior of how we can learn and, you know, listen, because I think that's probably the most important thing as a white dude is to listen. I think it's important for all of us. Um, I, I, I couldn't agree more. I think that uh, there, there are so many good stories to hear out there that highlighting the, the positive in people is really, really important. There's tons of good stories, but those don't get the, the airtime that the negative ones do. So I, I'm glad you're doing that. But also, uh, you know, things like the, um, the race relations, we all have so much to learn. I think, you know, I thought I, I knew a lot and I thought I was pretty, you know, I was pretty woke, but then I, you know, you really start looking into it and, and I've learned a lot too. So I think we all can keep learning. What, what, um, what have you learned about people from your, from this year, just interacting with them and challenging them? What, what have you learned? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. And I was thinking about that before. And I think I'm actually have kind of confirmed my hypothesis that are a lot more people want to make the world a better place than the media goes out and shows. Um, when I have these different conversations with people, it's like, they, they care about the community. Sometimes they don't know exactly how to act on it or know what the next steps are. And so I'm really learning that people, like we're, we're, we're starting this network of um, people that wanna make the world a better place, like young professionals and people that wanna, you know, build a better world for the next generation is really what we're looking at. But it's not only for young professionals. We have other people that are like joining on to the mission. And so I think it's just showing me that people really do care about other humans. And that's why like I wake up every morning and like want to continue to do this work is because I know that people do care about people and we just need to keep showing that and like get that through to people. And like I, my day job is I work with first and second graders at the Boys and Girls Club and to, you know, teach, teach the next generation of first, second graders all the way up through high schoolers that to believe in each other. And I do think, you know, there's going to be a lot of different conversations that we are going to have around, you know, artificial intelligence and automation. But I do think as like human beings, we're going to have to really start looking at, you know, socializing and social emotional learning and collaborating together. Um, and I, it, it's, we're having just some growing pains. And so I really think the Better World Challenge can help bridge that divide. So Justin, you're located in Eugene. So most of your focus has been on Lane County. Is that right? Yeah, correct. And yes. I, I believe like in, you know, starting local, aiming global is kind of my, my mindset and framework. And so I, I want the Better World Challenge to be able to scale to, you know, uh, national and be at different chapters. And, you know, of course, we'll probably start at different locations in Oregon. And so I, we're really looking at, you know, long term, like we're creating this Better World Network, maybe creating Better World Network chapters in different cities and locations across the United States. So people can just have a, a group and a community where they can, you know, come together and, and, and want to make the world a better place. And I think one of the things that I like about the what we're trying to do is like we're trying to work on really like leadership. And I think there's a lot of a lot of like different social issues, right? There are a lot of things that need to be taken care of. And one of the things that we want to do is we want to invite people that are interested in all of it to come and get inspired from each other and then go and take some of those ideas and, you know, tweak them and put them into their own um, little areas of service. And so, you know, for example, the other day we were talking about, um, so like sustainability um, some one of our network members actually lives in Hawaii but we went to school together at University of Oregon and she's really interested in coastal reef um, conservation and so some of our work and with um, the youth like in especially with me and in, in being here in Eugene she has inspired her to want to like take on her own like little project there in Hawaii and so that's really the thing it's like inspiring action into your own communities because I can't tell someone in Wichita, Kansas, what their, you know, community issues are, I, but I can, the Better World Challenge can inspire them, give them ideas, give them hope to bring about change in their own communities. Yeah, yeah that's great. I, I can see this being something that could go even into the high schools and have the high school kids, you know, that's when they kind of start getting into 
you know, understanding about that they're a part of the community and how it's our responsibility to take care of our, of each other. And I think, you know, I can see you doing summer camps, having people come and learn about how to do it and taking it back home. <laughs> it really, yeah, I would it, love to. Yeah, I can totally see you doing that. I think it, it is a, a project that has legs to, to spread around the country. I hope it does because it's a, uh, it's pretty impressive. So you have the better world challenge, which was, um, challenging people in in different areas to to do different things to make a difference um tell me about what like one of the most one of your most favorite challenges that you you did this past year yeah absolutely and so i think you know it goes back to that black lives matter education challenge it's the one that honestly it was our first challenge but it's the one that was most well received and i think there was it was great timing of course there was a lot like my circle i'll be you know completely honest it's pretty white. So I had a lot of people in my circle, like wanting to learn about, oh, how can we, how can I be anti-racist? And so I think just providing that platform there, it was just very accessible, like, oh, okay, I just have to listen to one of these podcasts. Like, I just got to read one of these articles. Um, you know, sometimes reading books for people is a little challenging, but like, I just got to watch one of these movies, like just kind of like, tidbits here and there and I really do think that was impactful in the way of just looking and, and learning and understanding our role in our own identities and I think you know going long term I would like it to just be you know we're, we're building out like monthly themes and so these monthly challenges aren't going to solve racism in in its entirety and so looking forward to like how can we you know, make sure that we're being anti-racist, not just during Black Lives Matter Education Month, but like also during, you know, August, October, and, you know, so on. And the podcast, has that been a rewarding uh, enterprise for you doing that? I, I've listened to a few of them. They're, they're really, they're very good. Very good. I really enjoy them. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's actually probably where I've seen my most like personal growth because I can still remember in April when I was asking people, like when I didn't even have a product, it like, I was just saying an idea. I'm like, I just want to put be like good in the world. Like we'd be on my podcast. And so um, I, I definitely used to be super nervous. I'm like, oh, I, I messaged the, you know, executive director. I'm thinking of Habitat for Humanity. She's probably so busy. Like I I'm probably intruding on her work. And like, so now I'm like, okay, so it'll only 10 to 15 minutes of your time. You get the word out, like it'll be good. And like, I'm a little more confident in the way I'm asking questions. It's, it's just really like a humbling thing that I get an opportunity to interview people for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, and get their time and under, I like I'm learning so much from them and from these conversations that I'm so happy to just like share that information with people you're just doing the exact same thing I am and it's a great it's a great thing to be able to do it's fun right yeah, it is very fun it is it's my favorite part of my job so I, I do enjoy it and I'm glad you're doing it too um, yeah the uh, it's, it's interesting talking to people everybody's got their own story to tell but then if you're talking to a nonprofit, then they also have other people's stories to tell and it's it's right. it's fascinating so um how, you know there, because there's been so much stress this last year how do you personally handle the stress how do you deal with it yeah i think that's an excellent question and i you know it's i'll be honest like it was definitely a tough time for me like thinking april may june when it was mm -hmm. that was my last term of college at university oh. of oregon and you know it, it's was because in the winter before you know I had been planning on okay that spring I'm gonna have the most fun I'm gonna enjoy all these times with my my buddies before you know the end and I just that just didn't get to happen and so I there's that moment of just it, it, it wasn't great and I think one of the things that um, has really the better world challenge has helped me keep my head up but I think personally just gratitude that my family is healthy um, my girlfriend's healthy her family's healthy her friends are healthy you know my friends friends are healthy and I have a roof over my head I have food on my plate and just like little things and just working towards like a better, better world, a better future has kind of kept me motivated and going and just like gratitude that I am healthy and safe. And so are, so are my family and friends. Yeah. You've touched on, on two things I think are really important. One is, is 
always remembering to be grateful that because we all have many, many things to be, to, you know, to have gratitude about. And, and it's really important to do that. And then also to look outside of yourself and to look at, you know, what that, you know, what's going on in the rest of the world and realize, you know, I've got it pretty good. And, and, uh, and, and then if you start helping other people, then, then it, it further helps you get out of that. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, it does. It does. So I would, yeah, I encourage people to check out your challenges and, um, see if they can, you know, make a challenge maybe in their own community too, and spread it, spread it throughout Oregon and throughout the United States and go from there. Maybe the world, who knows? I mean, interviewing you in 10 more years and it'll be an international organization. Yeah, Um, I hope so. Yeah, that would be, that would be great. So um, is there anything that you want us to, that you want to leave us with any, anything important that we should know about your organization or um, that you just want the viewers to know about you? Yeah, of course. Um, I think one of the big things is just like, we would love to have you on our journey and be a part of our better world community. Like we have, you know, I'd love for you all to sign up to our emails. You can go to the betterworldchallenge.com and right away you're going to get bombarded with subscribe to our newsletter. You'll, you'll, we get, you'll get weekly newsletters and stay up to date on the podcast, on our challenges and you know, you can follow us. We're at the better world challenge on every platform, except for Twitter where the better world just underscore it's too long um, for a Twitter (laughs) um, handle. And so I just, and I I love conversations, like just reach out. Like I'm at Justin at the better world challenge.com. And I love like even 10, 15, 20 minute conversations on how you think you can make the world a better place. What you think the better world challenge could add. Um, I'm, I just love collaborating and connecting with people. I think, strength in numbers um, is so, so vital and important to build a better world. Thank you very much for being with us today, Justin. I really appreciate it. And I hope that people will uh, take you up on it. I, I signed up for the newsletter and I signed up for the email. So I, I'm getting all those and, and um, enjoying them. And it is, they are uplifting and, and um, inspirational. So thank you for Great. your work and yeah, keep going. Thanks. And yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll follow you and then make sure we see what, what else is in the news for you uh, or what you have in the future. So thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you so much for having me on, Monica. You're welcome. And to our viewers, please uh, stay safe out there, stay healthy and uh, challenge yourself to make this a better world. 